All right, guys, so we're almost there. We have our registration in place. Now we just need to make it so that we can log in. Okay, so right now we don't have a login method, so we need to go in the user's controller and define that. Okay, so this is going to be pretty easy. Uh, we're going to just test for post. If this request is post, okay, and then we're going to say if. this auth if this auth login okay so this is all implemented by cake PHP we didn't create this authentication object uh, it's just included as long as you use the right conventions uh, so if it's if we can log in if it works then we want to return this redirect and we're going to go to whatever the um, whatever the redirect is so we'll just pass that in again read this auth redirect okay so what this is doing in our app controller we define the login redirect jobs index so this syntax is pointing to that of course, you could just add it in here, but why not use what's available to us and use the authentication component? And then if we're not logging in correctly, then we'll, sh we'll show an error, which will most likely be an invalid username and password. All right, so let's go and create the login view. So view users new file login.ctp and I'm just gonna throw in our code um, basically we're still gonna use the form helper here I got a div for the form um, we have our message holder here for authentication so if it's a bad login this is where it'll show okay um, access denied this is where it'll show and then we're just creating our form um, input username and password and that's pretty much it so we'll save that and see if we can go to it okay so here is our login um, all right now let's just see if this works All right, um, I'm not sure if it's working. Let's let's go to add job. All right, so it let us into add job. So I'm pretty sure we are logged in, and we need a way to see it. So what I'm going to do is make it so that if we're logged in, it'll have a little welcome message up here. So we need to go to um, layouts default and I'm gonna put it somewhere around here so I'm gonna change this a little here I'm gonna add a, a new column uh, right now we have two six uh, six column divs I'm gonna change I'm gonna add a column in the middle here and we obviously need to change this around so the first one will be four this one will be six and this one will be yeah this one will be two alright and basically it's just a column I added a welcome class and we're gonna say if and we can use variables from the authentication component just like this okay so we can actually grab the user's ID so basically if there's a user ID that means they're logged in if they're logged in then we're gonna say welcome 
and we can access the username with this here user data username and then we're just going to have a logout button that's going to go to users slash logout all right so let's save that and reload okay undefined variable user data all right so i don't think we set user data and we need to do that in the app controller and we need to use the before render function which we didn't so public function before render I want to say this set this set user data and I'm going to set that to this auth user Okay, we should have did that in the last video. Well, actually, no, I guess this, this would be sufficient. Um, so save that. Okay, now you can see it says our name. All right, so we are logged in, so we can access everything. Uh, we didn't, wait a minute. Jobs. That's really weird um, it's going to users jobs add let me just check that default file again add job going to web root jobs add huh oh okay now it's working all right. So next, we want it, we want the logout to work. Okay, we didn't create that yet. So we'll go back to the users controller. Okay, logout. And it's going to automatically log us out, and then we want to redirect to whatever our logout redirect is. Um, and that's what's great about this component is we don't have to write the code to log out; it does it for us. The component does it for us. We just have to specify a redirect. That's it. Okay, so we'll save that. If we reload this and log out, it sends us back to the home page, and you can tell we're logged out because that welcome isn't up here anymore. And if we try to add a job. We get our lot. We get a login page. It says you are not authorized to access this location. So the last thing I want to do is make sure that we can only edit jobs that we create. And before we do that, if you remember when we add a job, we just added a one for the user ID. We needed to actually grab our real ID. Okay. So if we log in. Oh, I actually meant to fix this um, this blank screen when we log in. And the reason that's happening is right here, we're logging in and we're getting redirected. This auth redirect should be a function, which means we need parentheses there. So you want to save that. And we'll log out and try again. All right, so now it logs us in. We can click add a job. Now we want to go back to the jobs function, the um, jobs controller. And let's see, add, we need the add function. And where was it? It's right here. We're just, we're setting this to a one, which we need to change. Okay, so what we really want here is this auth user ID. Okay, so that'll give it our ID. So what I'm going to do now is just go to the jobs. All right, so user ID. What's our ID? I think it's four. Oh, no, it's 17. Um, I had 
the sample users in already, one of which was my name, which is a little confusing. But the login I'm using now is this one, ID 17. So let's go ahead and try and add a job. Let me reload this. Say test job. Okay, add job, there it is. Okay, if we look at the jobs table, now you can see that the user ID is 17, so that's, that's good. All right, so as it is now, if I go to say this job here, we can see edit and delete, which isn't right. Okay, so we need to go to the view we need to go to the um, the job view, so view, jobs, and then view, and this is where the links are coming from right here, so we just need an if statement here. Actually put it, So in here, I'm just going to paste this in. So user data ID, that gets the currently logged in user's ID. And then we're setting an equal to the actual job user ID. If it is equal to that, then we can show the links. So if we save that, go back, reload, it's not there. Okay, now let's go to a job that we did create, like this test one. And now you can see that we can edit it. All right, so that's it. Our application is done. Everything seems to be working. So I think we're all set. All right, so it's a, it's a really good start even to a production application. Um, I hope you liked this chapter and I will see you in the next.